Now only on six, a father says he and his daughters were devastated when he was stopped at a South Florida airport after being wrongfully accused of human trafficking and questioned in front of passengers. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jackie Nesbrough. And I'm Juwan Strader. Good evening. The father says that he and his daughters were just coming back from a great trip in New York, but things took a turn when they landed in Fort Lauderdale. He spoke exclusively with NBC6 investigator Willard Shepard. Willard. All right, well, Jackie and Jawan, of course, here in South Florida, we all have to be on the lookout for human trafficking at our airports, police, airline workers, and also airport workers receiving training specifically in this area. But this man told us exclusively that he saw the very dark side of this being unfairly accused and it had a tremendous impact upon him and his two daughters. South Florida father Jonathan Marcu sent us these photos of him and his daughters taken over the years. He says Monday, when their Spirit Airlines flight from LaGuardia to Fort Lauderdale landed, the great time they had in New York went quickly downhill. They walked up to me and they said, um, can you come with us, sir? And I said, can you tell me why? And they're like, no, sir, can you just come with me? I'm like, well, I'm with my two daughters. They're like, they can come as well. Jonathan exclusively told us that BSO deputies were waiting at the gate, separated him from his 21 and 17-year-old daughters, and questioned them at the gate while passengers coming off the flight gazed while walking by. And I said, what's this about? They said, uh, there was a passenger on the plane who said you're a uh, human trafficking. And I said... Really? And they said, sir, I said, is this a joke? And I said, no, this is not a joke at all, sir. They brought my two daughters to me um, who were, you know, one of them, what, the younger one was actually very distressed. My older daughter was handling a little bit better. BSO told us they got a call to 911 and deputies went to the gate and determined the call was unfounded. Jonathan says the family was questioned for about 35 minutes before they were allowed to leave. And I, and I, and I get human trafficking. I get it's a huge, and it's a big problem. But there, there was zero red flags. I mean, there was. I mean, I. There, there's no reason for them to question me whatsoever for sure. I did nothing to deserve it. Jonathan says the airline should have better procedures to investigate such serious allegations. And one of the flight attendants actually stopped and he said, uh, you know, I'm really sorry you have to go through this, sir, but, you know, when somebody yells fire, we need to see if there's a fire. And at that point, my daughter asked, well, who was, was the passenger who complained about this sitting next to us? He's like, no, he's actually on a different side of the plane. There's got to be more to it than just some passenger looking at me and my two kids and saying, that guy's a human trafficker. Spirit Airlines sent us a statement saying, we reached out to our guests to learn more and informed him that we are conducting an investigation per our procedures. The safety of our guests and team members is our top priority, and we believe the travel industry plays an important role in the fight against human trafficking. Our team members receive training in this area, and we have procedures in place to work with law enforcement. Jonathan also told me that the top lawyer at Spirit Airlines called him to say this matter would be investigated. He certainly says he understands why people have to be on the lookout. He just wants better procedures in place. He says in this case, the airline could have simply checked the last names to see that they were all the same before this type of thing took place. The Miami-Dade state attorney says always must be on the lookout. Here at MIA, they say a man had brought a young lady through here used her as an exotic dancer and also prostitute. He was arrested yesterday and was in court saying that he was innocent of these charges. We're live tonight at MIA. Willard Shepard, NBC6 News. All right, Willard, thank you.